Hi, everybody. Welcome oh, to uh, Best Friends for Now. Thanks for watching. Yeah, welcome. This is our team, Best Friends for Now. Yeah. Um, everybody, let's introduce ourselves. Now they're on. Alphabetical. Hello. Maya. Claire. Jack. Troy. Kyle. Max. Matthew. Zizu. I'm not sure if I was the last one, but. Everybody go. And I'm Carrie. And that was the spontaneous introduction by BFFN. Um, thanks for joining us for all that is watching. We're going to be doing an uh, improvised Western themed show for you all. We're going to do two sets uh, to get us started. We would love if you uh, gave us a title to a Western. Go ahead and type it in either in the Facebook chat or the uh, Best Friends for Now YouTube channel, whichever you're watching on, have access to. We are looking at both. Um, in the meantime, unless that somebody's already there, do we have uh, do we have eyes on the chats and all that kind of stuff? I unfortunately do not have eyes on. <laughs> so while, we're, while we're doing that, do you want to describe um, our format for tonight? Yeah. Uh, our format is going to be long form, so we're going to kick it off with, uh, I mean, at your suggestion. We're going to let that inspire the entire show. Uh, it can be anything as silly as, you know, horses riding horses or the wind of the West, whichever kind of thing you're looking for, anything that comes to mind. We're going to take that and we're going to do uh, some grounded as possible scenes and let that uh, humor come out organically. We're going to have a start, a middle, and an end to an entire show. Uh, you don't do the Okay. Uh, so uh, in the meantime, uh, let's check in with everybody. Claire, how are you doing? I'm doing great. How are you doing? I'm doing wonderful. Given, given everything that's going on in life, we're going to go. All right, Jack, how are you doing? Good. Yeah. Maybe wonderful. Maybe wonderful. Wow. And this is on edge, people. We're living big lives here. All right, we're gonna go. Zizu, you're on the other one. Uh, I'm I'm fine. Great, good. This I is think fine is great right now. <laughs> yeah. It's a good point. That's good. Yeah, yeah. That is great. All right, Matt, you're next. How are you doing? Oh, that's cool. Just save me for last. Saving saving you for last. Yeah, I was waiting. You know. Thought I would be the first person you'd want to know about, but I guess I'm fourth on your list. That's correct. You, I'm going in order of windows I see on my Zoom chat. A likely story. Yeah. Or you're going in order of your favorite people. Well, then you're fourth out of out of eleven, so that's pretty good, Matt. Actually, that. you're right. Yeah, that's that's that bad odds right there. Good, good. Hello. Uh, oops. All right. Am I seeing? I'm seeing some stuff. Hard life. Hard life. Aloysius the Brave. Did I say that correctly? Aloysius? Aloysius. 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 The Brave. Nice. Okay. Do we have a, there we go. Let's, are we all good with hard life? Rolling. Yeah? yeah, let's do hard life. All right, we're going to do one set and then we'll come back for another. Right. Enjoy everybody. Montana Jack, what brings you back into this town? Well, we weren't expecting to see you around here for a long time. Well, I have to admit, things didn't go quite as well on that venture as I had hoped. So I am back here. So you come, uh, you come straight to your brother's doorstep to see if he'll take you in? See if he's not too upset about the way you left without inviting him on your journey. But that's fine. I'm just happy to see you, bro. Well, Montana James, hi. It was a risky venture and I, you know I just couldn't bear losing my only remaining brother. 
Well, let's just let bygones be bygones. How can I help you now? Do you need a place to stay? My wife, Lori, and I will be, will be happy to take you in. Well, you, you know I, I hate to impose like this, and I wouldn't do it except on account of having just about no other options. Well, it will be our pleasure. We don't have, we don't have the same desire as you to go out and, and live the risky life. We are a very simple family here. I stayed here the last two years. I now have a good tailor business. And my wife, she's a school teacher, Lori. You'll like her. Well. You never well, even met her. You weren't here for our wedding, but I'm not upset. Did, did you get that letter sending it's my congratulations on your nuptials? Yes. Yes, I did. Thank you for sending that. We had a, we had a very good time. Well, listen. You must be tired from your journey. Come in, we'll get you, uh, we'll get you, get Honey? you situated. Honey, who's at the door? Lori? Well, That's your brother, is it? Yes. Yes, it is. He has come back. Would you like oh, to meet him? Montana, Montana, Montana Jack. Back. Montana Jack, this is, this is my wife, Lori. Lovely Uncle Lord. Jack is back. Uncle Jack is back. Very, very nice to meet you. You're coming right at dinner time, and I, I don't have enough, to be honest. It's uh. Well, I don't mind. We'll, we'll make do. Over. We'll we'll I'll share. I wouldn't want anyone to go hungry on account of me. Well, very very pleased for you to meet my family, my lovely wife Lori, my lovely son Tim. We were very we'd be very very pleased to have you. How are you doing, Tim? I'm pretty good. I heard a lot about you. Well, I- Well, we don't need to tell them all the details of all the things you've heard, Tim. I, I heard a lot about you from my, my, my father and my mother. They always say that you are, uh, you can be a bad influence on me. Oh, okay, and, Tim. We'll just see okay. about that. Well, I, do you want to sit down? I can I pull out a chair for you if you want to just sit down, Montana. If it's Jack. no trouble. Well, let me just tell you, you got to be careful in this town because things have changed. There are a lot of bandits. You know, when you left, things were very safe, but now things are very dangerous. This is why we just keep a very simple life here. There is a lot of crime now, a lot of bandits. Just, and you just gotta, in the last two years? Oh, yeah. You got to look over your shoulder. Things have changed. So you watch out, but for now, let's settle down and have a nice dinner and put things in the past. All right, I'm gonna go in the kitchen and grab, grab some of that soup. Hey boss, hey boss. What is it, Billy? I got back with the horse you asked for. It's a... Uh... It's a rowan. Oh. A dappled coat. I know you don't care much about the horses I bring in, but I do. I take I take great care. Well, it's just an animal, but you you done good, Billy. Now I'm not gonna be able to get your wages to you this week. Uh you're gonna have to wait till next week. Oh. But I tell you what. You get me two more horses and you'll get your pay. What? Two horses in one week? Are you kidding me, boss? Billy, you know it's a hard life here in Lizard Creek. I, I got barely enough hardtack to make it to make it out past Den, Denzin's Gulch. You that's where all the good horses are, not that Palomino trash you got in the in Westminster field. <laughs> boss, boss, well, boss. Billy, you I know that money. You know the way you name towns cracks me up. But you know, when I was just a young cowboy rustling colts like you, and I, I had to 
scrounged for my meals. I was digging up worms in the dirt. All right, so don't tell me about no hard tack and you ain't got enough to last till this gulch and that gulch and this town or that town. I'm just so hungry, boss. I mean, couldn't you give me some supplies at least? You take it out of my paycheck. Well, I can get you some beef jerky maybe. Oh, you, this is a fine horse you got here. Let me look, have a look at them teeth. Go ahead, it's not a gift horse. It's well, really it seems- Within your rights, sir. Seems, seems to be healthy enough. You know, you've been working for me for two years now and I've had you going out and stealing horses from here all the way to New Mexico territory. It's getting so much harder to steal horses these days what, with all the other crime in the city. Yep, they, you know, this place ain't going to be as lawless as it is now. They're going to, they're going to crack down on us at some day. Have you thought about what you're going to do when that happens, Billy? Oh, I don't know. I know a lot about horses and I love them. Maybe I could find honest work doing, you know, preparing stables or getting curious. Let me tell you something. What is there ain't it? no way to make a living an honest work in this town. You look around, you see, you know that Taylor, Montana James? Yeah. You think, you think that business is above ground? You think he's an honest man walking around saying howdy do to all the ladies about town? Thought he was the last honest man in town. The last honest man in a town full of bandits. But if he's well, gone... No, he's around, but let me tell you, he's not as honest as he seems. Oh, my God. Yep, I I believe that he is smuggling false papers in his tailor supplies. Well, I'll check it out, because he's the guy I steal my horses from. He's the only... <laughs> He's the only honest guy. That's why it's so hard, boss. There's not that many horses that are unaccounted for. You, Billy. Passed from hand to hand. Billy, you find a way. And you find a way to get me the horses that you need. Let me, let me go and I'll go and get you some beef jerky to, you know, you remind me of myself when I was your age. Hungry for beef jerky, sir just trying to scrape by that's right the dreams of an honest living and you're gonna you're gonna get those knocked right out of you soon enough all right well maybe i'll show up later at some point in time uh with something to do with a horse see you boss i'll catch you later billy that boy all right Laurie. Okay. I'm 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 underneath the stairs. Open the door, open the cupboard. I'm I'm hiding underneath the stairs. I am still mad at you. Laurie, come come Bring underneath. Your good for nothing brother around here. Just come underneath the stairs. He can hear you. Just you. Okay. Come crawling, crawl, crawling. Okay. Lori, I didn't know my brother was coming back. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. You should turn him away at the door. Look, Lori, I know we're in big trouble because he doesn't know about the smuggling. I, yeah, yeah, he's, no he's shit he doesn't know. Because he's actually now the only honest man in town. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. So I just... I liked being all up and mighty, you know, as the, the school local school mom. And now nobody would have found out. No one suspected it because you're like, you, you're teaching children. But I know. we're up to some bad stuff. 
And we can't, we cannot let my brother find out. Because if he finds out, he's going to go to the sheriff. Yeah. He's for sure going to go to the sheriff. He's a real tattletale. You you know what happened when you were kids. You you told me the stories. He, he just is a big brown nosing, good for nothing. I know. <sighs> Look, Lori, we're going to get through this. We got to get him out of the house. We're going to lose this house if he finds out. We, we don't have enough money. We're not gonna tailor go. business. No one needs tailoring around here. No, no, it's a horrible business. I don't know why anyone would become a tailor if not for smuggling. Little Billy, he's, he's going to starve. I know. Okay, Lori, we have to devise a plan. Let's get him out of here. We have to get him out of here without him suspecting nothing. Or we're in, we're in jail. All right. Okay. What, 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 what do you say? We think? We just, we just don't have enough resources to keep him, okay. you know, and, and we, and, you know, after a couple of days, we just try to get rid of him. Okay? All right. And if, every, I, if anything else, we meet here under the stairs. It's a hard life, but we can make it work. Or I, I can, I can pretend he made a pass at me and, and you can kick him out. Lori. Okay. Try to get him alone. Try okay. to get him alone. Okay. 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 I, I love you. I love you a lot. Okay, bye. Montana Jack. Mel, how, how are you doing? Welcome back. It's good to see you. Been a long time. Well, yeah, you're looking uh, like you've done mighty well for yourself. Oh, well. I've been uh, making an honest living selling horses. I got a ranch up just outside of town now. Yeah, this one, this year, one of yours? Well, indeed, I'm just bringing it in to uh, maybe sell it. To... Well, this is a mighty fine looking specimen you got here. Indeed, it's a Ron. You can take a look at its teeth if you want. All right. Well, not a rotten, not a rotten enamel in sight. What, what, what are you feeding these beasts? Oh, well, I just came across this one. I, I feed them, let them graze out in the pastures. But uh, this one just came into my, uh, my inventory. I got that Billy boy working for me, and he does a good job of finding fine horses at a reasonable price. Yeah. Little Billy's all grown up now? No, oh, I wouldn't say all grown up. Okay. But Are he working for you? He is. Indeed. The boy ain't smart, but he knows horses like the back of his hand. Well... You know, I'm glad to hear you're you're out here uh, making an honest living for yourself. Oh, easy boy, easy. Uh, yeah. you know, I, I remember you and my brother used to get into all kinds of trouble. So, you know, I wasn't sure you were a good influence on his life, but it's, it's, I'm glad to hear you're you're back on the straight narrow path. Oh yeah, I'm. That's me. You know, people. People, they call me Honest Frank. Well, it's a good name. That's my new nickname, Honest Frank. Wouldn't, wouldn't have thought it, but that's me. Tell yeah. me, how, how, did, how did California treat you? Did well, you what, uh, to me, what you were looking for? It was a, kind of a bust. It turns out that, uh, well, you're a bit late on the gold rush, I suppose. Yeah, that, that was right out. And then, you know, to be honest, people don't tend, um, you know, to appreciate uh, honesty, you know, the, the rule of law. They, they, they prefer to do things um, in more uh, dubious ways, if you know what I mean. It, it just didn't sit right with me. So well, I, I just sense. thought I'd come back here. Um, I'm glad you're back in Lizard Creek. Yeah. There's, this town has, doesn't put up with no dishonesty, you know. 
That's good. Uh, so I heard there's some some bandits around though. I was I was just on my way down to see the sheriff, see if uh, he needs any additional deputies. Uh, oh, you looking for you looking for work now? You're you're here to stay. Yeah, I, th I think you know um, my 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 brother's been nice enough to uh, put me up with them, but I don't want to you know burden them too much. So I was looking for a way I could uh, you know make a honest living, maybe contribute to the community. Burden your brother, the the big old Montana James, the tailor who's making money hand over fist. Oh, I wouldn't believe that. He's he's doing well for him. I he said he was a tailor. And oh, he's a well a mighty fine tailor. He uh, uh, he's not the most lucrative of professions. Well, if if you know how to play your cards right, you can. Uh, you can make pretty good money as a tailor, if you know what I mean. I, I don't. <laughs> well, let's just say, you ever heard of a, a three-piece suit? What, what's the third piece for? Well, let's just say your brother is making uh, four-piece suits, if you know what I mean. Well, that is quite inventive of him. <laughs> Montana Jack, you always were a, a, a bit, not, not necessarily the, the sharpest shovel in the barn. Well, you Let know, me lay it out for you clearly. Your brother is smuggling counterfeit currency in his soups. No, that can't be. You <laughs> take that back. No, I, well, you best talk to him about it. You think I'm lying? Ain't no way that Taylor, your brother's been making that much money as a tailor, not in Lizard Creek. Well, I don't know. I guess I can't argue with Honest Frank. <laughs> No, you cannot. I would not tell him lie. Now I'm gonna take this. Hey, easy boy. Easy boy. All right, he's getting restless. I I best get him to the the man I'm selling him to. All right. You take care now. You as well. Um, oh, oh, uh oh, oh, uh oh, Miss James. Are you now? Nah, this is your 12th time trying to complete the eighth grade, uh, uh, and you know, I there, I'm just at my wit's end. I don't know what else to do to help you. Well, could. Could you rephrase some of the questions so they has got something to do with horses? All right. If you had two horses. Sure. And then someone gave you another three horses. Well, yeah. And you had a speeding train going at 60 miles per hour. Sure. How fast? is the last caboose going? Oh, I forgot all about the train. I'm sorry. The horses oh, wow. got me you know, I got caught up in the horses. This is this is what's next. You, you're not going to be successful in life. Well, to be honest, I didn't come here for more education. I, I was hoping to talk to uh, Mr. James, Montana. James. Oh, oh, my husband. All right. Um, James. James, you home? Yeah. What? What'd you Come say? At the door. Oh, okay. There's some delinquent at the door for you. Boss, Mr. James. What? A All right, I got I got some bread, leave. bacon. I'm gonna go. So, I'm back again. If you got another, you got that Clydesdale ready for me in a in a suit filled up with change. 
I'll take it back over there. I'm going to smuggle a, a suit full of change, right? All right? We always do. That's the plan, Billy. But let me tell you something. You have to be extra vigilant this time. Really? You repeat that to me? What did I just say to you about what we got to be this time? Extra. <laughs> vigilant. 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 Do you know why? Do you know why we have to be extra vigilant this time, Billy? So the change doesn't jangle when I'm riding? Exactly. Last time, you know, there's 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 more looking eyes around this time. So you got to you got to make sure there's 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 lots of looking eyes even oh, in this own house of mine. I think so I know. You have to be saying. extra careful and to thank you for being extra careful. I will give you a little bit a little bit of a of an extra bonus if this makes it safely all right beef jerky <laughs> your favorite your favorite just ex just exactly as you like it and you know what you do it well this time i'm going to give you your next favorite thing bison jerky i know how you love that bison we got to import that from other towns wow yeah so you do this well and you don't know you don't let no one find out billy you're a smart boy. Mm -hmm. You're a smart boy. Mm -hmm. Honest Frank okay. just thinks I'm stealing the horses, so he don't know. Oh, wow, what a beautiful girl. I mean, wait a second. Yes. What a beautiful Clydesdale. <laughs> and very nice horse as well. All right, Billy. It was a pleasure doing business with, business with you. Oh, and here. Here's your beef jerky. Buy some jerky next time. Oh. All right? You be a good boy, Billy. You be okay. a good boy. Dinazam. I'll be real careful. Montana Jack. Did you want some food? Oh, <laughs> yeah, sure. If it, if it ain't too much trouble, ma'am. Yeah. I saw I saw how you were looking at that at that piece of pie. It I can cut you nice nice like big slice. Peace there. Here you go. Thank you. Hot right. apple pie. Lean over, lean over so we can see down your shirt a little bit better. Yeah, you like that pie? Um, sure. Yeah, I'm fine all, over here. Oh, Montana, Montana Jack. What are you doing with my wife? Oh, oh Montana you Jack. You are disgusting. Oh. Oh. You come into my house and- I was looking down my, down oh, my bosom. That's disgusting. You are my brother. You you get <laughs> out of this house. I never, I don't I know never. what you, I would never do such a thing. I was just, she handed me this piece of pie I was about to eat it. Are you saying my wife is a liar? That is not, that is, you are blaming me as a, I'm a victim. I, I am a I, victim. Jim, close your ears. Close your ears. This is not for children's ears. This, no, you know, we've been brothers, you know, all, all, all your life. We, I would never do such a thing to you or, or Lori. You can stay the night, but I, I think want it's him best out. that you, I think it's best that you, that you go your own way tomorrow. Now listen, if it may, if my presence here makes you uncomfortable, Miss Lori, I, I'll leave tonight. I, I think that, that'd be wise. I think that'd be wise. That, that's all right. I just, uh, I, I need to talk to uh, to my brother alone for just a minute, if you if you don't mind. I okay. would not mind at all. Goodbye. Go take care of him. Keep him safe. Now. I'm I'm sorry for any trouble with with you and your your missus. Um, it I I just feel awful embarrassed about any misinterpretations of my actions that she may have made. You know what? You are. You leave me alone. You left me. 
You left me here. We were close and you left. And yes, you came back, but you only came back because you had to. And then you come here and you look at my wife. Now you, you get out. Now, you get out of my house. Now hold on just a minute. I mean, what? I mean, what is so about, important? About some something I heard, and then I just I just wanted to hear it straight from you. Okay, what is it? I heard you've been been sewing counterfeit bills into into those suits of yours. Tell tell me any true. Tell me in true, James. That's not something you would do, was it? That's what I told Honest Frank. I can't believe it. Well, to think you would doubt your own brother, no. I would never, never do such a outright thing as that. Okay, good. Yeah, that's great. I, I'm glad to hear from you. I know our, our mother would be rolling in her grave if she knew something like that were happening. So neither of us would ever dare to do something like that. No, I would never do something like that. And don't you listen to these rumors. That's all they are. They're just rumors. Now you best be getting out of my house. All right. You have a good, good evening. Goodbye. Uncle Jack, Uncle Jack. Uncle Jack. Yeah? I heard you talking with my, with my dad, and I... Talk to me. I... I'm going to be heading out now. Okay, but I think there's something you should see. I have this suit. Look. What, what is this? What is it, this, Timmy? I, I think it has something. It's... Where did this money come from, Timmy? I think my father put it there. I saw him do it. Are you sure? I think so. Nobody put you up to this? No. You're not gonna tell a lie. You know that you know that I, I, I'm why, sorry. Well, I never lie, and I when I heard you talk with my father and he he was lying. So I wanted to tell you that this is this is true. Well, I don't suppose you have $500 lying around just stuff into this suit, Timmy. I don't know what to make of this. I think you were right and he was wrong. Well, I appreciate your honesty and you coming to me with this. Okay, I'm gonna go play. Okay. James? I told you to get. Now listen, James. Come out here on the porch. Just, just talk to me. <laughs> what is it? What, what is this money in this suit? Now where the hell did you get that? <laughs> Kimmy brought it to me. Timmy? <laughs> now, I don't know where that boy got that. That boy's a liar. You tell me that boy just, just picked $500 up off the street? <sighs> All right. What are you doing, oh, no. James? <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> Damn it, Tim. <laughs> All right. You get in here. You bring that suit with you. Get in. All right. <laughs> now listen, listen, uh, it's not too late. You can you can turn this around. You don't have to, you don't have to. To do this, just stop it. Montana just Jack. It yeah. Montana Jack. We we cannot have people knowing 
Worse than Laurie. People just, tarnishing oh, our good oh, reputation. Yeah. Montana what, Jack. What, what are you doing? What, what's going on here? I am a school mom. And I have gotten accustomed to a certain lifestyle. Well, let's not go, let's not get hasty here. Don't, you don't need to, you can put that away. I cannot. There's no need for violence. I cannot do that. I have a child, I have a reputation, and you are getting in the way of both of those things being successful. Now, so now I suggest you say your last prayers. James, what's going on here? Now, Lori, we don't, we don't have to. What you honey, doing, Lori? Honey, you don't even like him. I don't he's like always him, been, but he's, he's blood. Always been too good I don't like him, but he's blood. Lori, I'm doing this for us. Lori, I what have, have, you, have you done? A day for us. Help me, help me, help me get rid of the body. Okay, Lori. You feed it to the horses. He was my brother. And he was a son of a bitch. And he was my brother. It's a hard life, Lori. It's, it's a, a hard, hard life. life. Yay! Wow. Whew. What a hard life. <laughs> a hard life. That's our first, that was our first set, everybody. Uh, thank you for watching that first set. Uh, that was our first group. We're going to go again. One more show, second half of the show for y'all. Uh, so that was a collective of Zizu, Maya, uh, we had Claire, we had Jack, we had Kyle, and did I get it to Maya? Matt! Yes, there we go. All the M's. So congratulations for doing that first bit of Western. Uh, we're going to do another one if we can get a suggestion for a title, a Western title, to do our second set for the second half of our group. Uh, that will include myself, Evan, Joy, Rose, Max. That's it. Evan, right? Yep, there we go. Heavy boots. We got the lost wagon wheel. Uh, folks, I, I gotta admit, uh, the stream may or may not have been broken, but we're trying to refresh it. Thank you for your patience. It is a hard life. Yeah. <laughs> Facebook, uh, Facebook. I'm some in the YouTube channel. The mistress and her horse. Mistress and her horse. I, I wanna, I wanna see that. I wanna see the mistress and her horse. And her horse. Look, is it live on the mistress YouTube? Mistress and her. As well. Yeah, it's live on YouTube. Yeah. Everybody, YouTube. Huh? It's live on Facebook, but not on YouTube because. It's live on Facebook. It's live on Facebook. Okay. Great. All right. Yay. So, so with uh, the mistress and her horse, get us kicked off. All right. I just, I just must continue petting my horse every day, all day, until her coat is gleaming. Look at the hair, it shines like a lion's mane. Oh, it does, doesn't it? It's like moonlight glistening. Oh, it's like angel's breath. What a magical creature. Oh. It's a shame, though. That leg is injured, and I don't think it can make it over the pass. Don't you say it! We are not killing my little missy! She's been my host since I was a child. We are not sacrificing her just to make it through the pass. I am sorry, Julianne. I am a veterinarian, and it is not an exact science. Uh, sometimes I make mistakes. 
Dr. Davy, tell me you can do something to fix her. Well, my options are pretty much limited. You know, I have two tools. I have a gun and I have a knife. You know, we, we can cut off the leg, we can kill the horse. In these times, in these conditions, it's hard to be a doctor. Oh. See, she doesn't want you to do it. I'm, I'm sorry. You were a magnificent creature and you carried us all the way up to this mountain pass. Oh, I, I can't look. <laughs> Say Yes, sir. Now, did you get all the horses that I asked for? Yes, sir. I got all three horses. They're all rounded up and they're all they're all in the barn eating away. All right. Good, because we're about to go get some more. I heard there's a town up north that we can steal some more horses from. That's right, Williamstown. That's right. Listen, we got to get at least six horses before we make the journey across uh, over to, to down to Texas. Yeah. Got to make our trip worthwhile this time. That's right. Well, we won't be doing much if we didn't arrive all them horses are where we're going. That's because we are horse robbers. Do I have to remind you every time you make it sound like we're good people? Well, listen, I don't like to think of myself as a robber, but more of a redistributor of wealth. All right. Now, damn it, William, I told you when I took you in under my apprenticeship, I was going to train you to be a real robber. Now you got all these morals and shit. Uh, sir, I, um, uh, Mr. D Mr. Mr. I'm just so, uh, I'm, you listen. You can't my name out. Jameson, you know that better than anybody. I tell it to you every day. Mr. Jameson, I'm I'm very sorry. I just I you know you you found me in a tough spot back then, and I was I was willing to do anything. But listen, I've I've been reading uh, the Bible recently, and and hey, I've, do you not see the gun pointed to your head right now? The, do you, are you? I, I, me? Are you I, I'm not. I'm not trying to have any trouble. Are you trying to get out. Are you in or are you out? Because once I, you're in, you're in for life. You make it sound like you can get out of this thing, William. Well, there's a life afterward that. Oh, you don't care about having a. You don't care about ending your life right now. Is that what you're telling me? No, I I believe that if I'm that I I've been a. Oh a, shit! A, Bye. <laughs> Gotta get me a damn new fucking sidekick up in here. Son of a bitch. Oh, uh, who might you be here at the gates of heaven? Are you that horse robber who started reading the Bible? Oh, well, hello, I'm, uh, that's right, I, where am I? You're at the gates of heaven. Oh, so it's, so it's true, I, I always knew, but it's, uh, it's quite, it's quite a place to behold. Well, your faith has gotten you here. Well, I'm, I'm glad I'm here as opposed to uh, the, 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 the gates of hell or, or uh, you know, that's, uh, that's what comes to mind for me. Um, you know, I'm, I'm only about 30 pages into the Bible, so I don't know too much. Well, your faith was so strong that you are given a second chance. A second chance? To make up for your misdeeds. Uh, and your uh, deeds. So are you saying that I'm, that I'm not going to enter the gates today? No, not today. Not today. We will send you back. So send me back where? In, in what capacity? It'll be a surprise. Uh, <laughs> can, you, can you tell me anything more? Just if you need me, just say the 
biblical words and I shall be there. Uh, the biblical the biblical words. Uh, Close your eyes. It ain't gonna yeah, hurt. Yeah. It ain't gonna hurt. Oh, everything is going black. Mr. Jameson. Huh? Uh, uh, well, howdy. Uh, my name is Freddie. I heard you have been uh, needing a hand around here. Dealing uh, with yeah. horses. Well, you, you have something to offer, huh? Well, I mean, I, I grew up with horses. Horses love me. I can handle any horse you got. Mm -hmm. I'm also a little down on my luck, you see. I need a little catch. Yeah, well, next time, last time I took somebody down on their luck, they thought that they could get out of it. What do you want from this? Well, I want to get as much out of it as I can. All right, you will. Well, what you will offer? It? Say that one more time. Said, are you willing to kill somebody? Oh, you questioning whether I kill someone? I kill my little brother if he give me gold. <laughs> you kill your little brother? If he give me gold. The incentives have got to be right. <laughs> and I don't know if I want you on my side. Because if I say you should kill your brother, that means you kill your brother. You want my brother to live? You insinuating I'm I don't really give a shit about your brother. All I care about is you do what I say because I need to rob some people and get my horses to get my gold and you may get a little piece of it. But the only way that's going to oh. happen is if I'm boss and you're not. So are All you right. in? Well, you, you want to be boss? All right. I am boss. I don't you are the boss. Me. I believe you, Mr. Jameson. That's right. Are you in or are you out? Because when you're in, you're in. Oh, I'm in. Good, because we're about to go up north to Williamstown. Williamstown. So there are some horses up there that mm -hmm. I want to steal because I want my riches. I can help you steal some horses in Williamstown. Good. What's well, my cut, though? We'll talk about your cut later when you prove you're worthy. Don't know if I can trust this Mr. James, Mr. Balls. Oh, angel in heaven, I have sinned. I have lived a terrible life. Tell me how you have sinned. Your voice, I see your face in the clouds. I have, in, I have had impure thoughts. Oh, I know. I know that, Dr. Davy. Oh, I guess I can't hide anything from you. I, what do you want from me? I want redemption. I want a chance to prove myself. I don't think I'll make it up there. <laughs> you, you want redemption after all that you've done? There's blood on my hands. I can smell it from all the way up here. It smells like a lifetime of mistakes. Why? Why have you lived the life that you have lived? I am a fraud. I've, I'm no doctor. I'm no veterinarian. I just made it up. I, I heal for a living. Say again. I know that, but why? Why did you do that? A man, a man got to survive on his intellect out here. If, if he has no skills, he has no talent. Are you proposing a change in your character? I want to change my heart. I want to change my heart for you. You mean for God? What can I do to make it better? I'll ask God and I'll get back to you, but... I propose you think of your own self. I'll try to live different. Well, hi, William. Well, hello. Uh, how are you doing today? 
I'm, I'm, today is the first day of the rest of my life. You know, you look like you've, you've been through something yourself. Dr. Davey, uh, um, I've, uh, I've, just had, I've had quite the night. Um, a lot has uh, gone on and I'm uh, still trying to come to terms with it, with it all. You see, I had a, I had a vision of sorts. Did you know? Uh, yeah, and, and, and I think I've gotten a, a second chance to kind of make something of myself here. Um, I've done some bad things in this life and, and I had an opportunity to make up for them. And I, uh, I was hoping I could be, uh, I could be a service to you, um, kind of do some of the good that you've, uh, that you've done and, and, and make a change of profession. Brother say. William, we are walking the same path. I think I might've had the same vision. I wanna live a new life too. And I think it starts with admitting something. I ain't no doctor. I don't know nothing about being a doctor. Well, you're not. I thought uh, you've, uh, we come to you uh, with our horses uh, all, every day, uh, practically. You're, yeah, whenever they got, they're, they're sick or they've got a, uh, they've got a, a medical problem of any kind, you come and you help. William, have I ever cured a horse of yours? Well, uh, you let us know when it's, when it's time to put them down and, and when it's, when it's time to, to wait it out. Uh, That's all I know how to do. William, tell me the three worst things you've done in your life. Well, since you've been so open with me, I, uh, I, 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 I've never really talked about this openly, but the horse stealing business is no, is, is a, is a, is a harsh business to be in. And, uh, just last week, I, I shot a man straight between the eyes and, and took his horse from, oh from my own. Oh my goodness. That Up took in, a lot of courage. Uh, well, listen, I'm, a. I'm, uh, I've lived a tough life and uh, killing has never bothered me, but uh, I'm thinking that I'm thinking that it's time to, 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 to make up for my sins. I, I've been reading the Bible, you see. William, is there anybody that you know in your life that needs saving? Maybe we can start there. Well, well, Mr. Well, uh, not to, 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 uh, Given any, given anyone's business uh, here, but I wasn't alone in my in my horse crime endeavors. You see, I was actually a, 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 an accomplice to, to Mr. Jameson. The whole horse selling business that we run is is actually all a fraud. We don't get those horses by honest means at at all. They're all stolen. I thought you two was up to something. You and Mr. Jameson always bringing me them injured horses. <laughs> that's, that's right. Uh, we're, we don't buy those fix, fix me up horses from, from old timers. We go and we steal those horses and, and in the process, sometimes they become fix me ups. Well, I, I'll tell you something, William. I don't want to be playing any more games with my life. I don't want to be playing in the flames. I want to be playing a hawk. Let's go, let's go on a journey to, to spread the good news. Well, okay. Uh... All right, Mr. Jameson. This is Williamstown. So, this is where you want to get all them horses from? Mm hmm. That's correct. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go pretend, tell those nice people that we're here to take care of their horses. We have to get their trust first, you understand? All right, all right. So we're, we're offering our services to, well, feed and brush them. That's right. Go ahead and talk to those people right over there. That's why we're here at this ranch right all now. Right, all right. You go ahead and you talk to them and see what you can do. I'll be right here. Excuse me, uh, Mrs. Uh, I see you got my a... Hi, oh, my uh, yuppie. Well, my name's Freddie. Uh... I see you have uh, what my old name be. Uh, so apologize. 
What? Oh, what, what is your name? Oh, oh, sorry. Uh, Angela. Oh, Angela. Oh, such a such a pretty name for such a pretty lady. Uh, oh, thank you. I see you have a horse there. That's right. My this, be, this be Ned. Oh, Ned, Ned. This is a very, very nice horse. Uh, well, my partner and I, we, we take care of horses. Uh, we take care of them very well. We feed them. We tag them. We, we keep them roped up so they don't run away. Um, and we just wanted to offer our service to you, Miss Angelica. Oh, well, I take good care of Ned myself. Uh, I'm wondering why I should accept your services. Oh, well, oh, well, I'm so such a, such a fine lady as yourself, needn't bother with getting your boots dirty and muddy. We can take fine care of your horse. It's no, no trouble on us. Who's that, who's that mister over there? Oh, oh, uh, that's just my partner. Um, he, Mr. Jameson, he, uh, he, he prefers to negotiate from afar, but he is the best man with horses. There's like a, is that, is that a big cloud over his head? It's just uh, so dark. Dark over here. He's a dark figure. A dark figure? Oh, oh, Angelica, I, I do believe you must be mistaken. It's, a. Uh, it's merely the weather. He's a great man. He, he would never do anything bad for anyone. Oh, well, Ned seems to, to like you. Oh, well, uh, uh, I grew up with horses. <laughs> Did you now? Oh, why, yes, indeed. But, but miss, miss, uh, Angelica, please. Uh, we'd love to take care of your horse. Well, I don't know what to say. <laughs> How about you you ride Ned a little bit and then I'll decide. Well, all right, all right. Come, come here, Ned. <laughs> Mr. Jameson. Yeah. I come out to your campsites because I have a message of hope. I want you to change your evil ways. You want to change my evil? You want to change who I am? You try to judge me and tell me I'm evil? You think that comes off as a nice thing to say to yeah. a stranger? I saw what you done did. Yeah, well, you don't know me. I may have done dealings with you, but you don't know me. You're just a stranger. Do you understand what I'm saying, sir? You terrify me. Good. A wrath that terrifies me even more. Now I'm here to help. I don't give a shit about God. God hasn't done anything for me. Why should I do anything for it? You trying to save me as if I'm sucker? You're the sucker now. I'm going to give you a couple seconds before you walk away and I don't shoot you. Well, hey now. Hey, listen, Mr. Jameson. What you the want... fuck and tarnation are you doing alive, William? If you, if you shoot uh, if you shoot Mr. Davy, won't do nothing. I don't know what that I don't know what that means. I shot a lot of people and they stay dead. Well, it seems like God isn't on your side this time, Mr. Mr. Jameson. I don't believe in God. He's had his fill of uh, of your sin. If you strike me down, I have a problem. He can come talk to me. Until then, you best get out of my sights before I get my partner Freddy up in here, and we're gonna call this a proper duel. I tell you something. I just have some literature for you to read, and I'll be on my way. Mr. Five, Dick, doctor, listen, four, Mr. Jameson. Three, Mr. Jameson. <laughs> Oh! Partner. Now you best get out of here. Uh, I'm sorry, Dr. Davey. I, it was worth it. Uh, I, I, I tried to, sh I tried to, sh 
I tried to shoot him, but my my gun jammed, and uh, he got you. Fate I, got me. I don't end up like I did. Listen, I'll I'll, I'll finish the work you started. I, I won't just let you down, Doctor Davy. Mr. Okay. Mr. Jameson's gonna is gonna change his ways one way or the other. Make my life, my death worth it. Well, Mr. Jameson, will you look at that? That was the easiest horse stealing that I've ever seen. The little lady just gave the horse to me. She said, gonna... ride off with him. I see that you proved yourself well. So I do believe I would like my cut now. But we guess. We gotta sell the horses. We don't just steal them and get money. We gotta sell them horses now. All right. You want me to help you sell them too? I sure right. do. I sure do. You do you want to be part of this partnership or not? You I want to be part of it. I want to be part of it. Well, then you got a lot of complaining you're doing right now. I I ain't complaining. I will do whatever you like, Mr. Jameson. Mm -hmm. I'm your humble servant. <laughs> Hey, you stole my horse. Oh, oh, oh pretty lady. Whoa, 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 Mr. Jameson. We I are a lady. We, we've been taking care of your horse. We, we didn't steal him. I was just riding him as you asked. I, I just said ride him for a minute and then I'll decide. But you just <laughs> took off. I must have lost track of time. I'm so sorry, my, my lady. I don't believe you. Oh, you best believe her. You have a problem with her? Oh. I'm talking about the horse. The horse is the whisper. I'm Freddy, he's a son of a gun, but that horse ain't lying. It went right with Freddy, just like a caretaker and it's horse. Freddy wants to be with me. So he's, he's on the train. Freddy, come here, Freddy. <laughs> horse is also named. Oh, damn. The horse is also named Freddy now. I thought it was a female this entire time. <laughs> I met Nettie. I'm getting so confused. I'm so winded from chasing after you. Oh, oh, oh no worries, little lady. Uh, well, uh, your little horse is fine. We've been taking great care of you. Well, I'm going to take him back. Nettie, come here. I'm sorry, you're going to take what back? Nettie, I'm taking Nettie back. Just Nettie. just one horse. Out of all the horses, you're just taking one. Is that correct? Should I take all of them? No, I'm just making sure that you're just taking one. And we still have the others. That's all. You guys are horse thieves, huh? That is not true. I'm sorry, what? Yeah. What? We're not stealing no horses. We're not stealing horses. Either you take your horse and go, and we won't have a problem, or we'll have a problem. It's up to you, ma'am. Nettie, come it's on. It's Jameson. Yeah. I've come, to, I've, I've, I've come to, to avenge the death of, of all the people you've killed. Nettie, oh, come on. Nettie, come you on. killed people too, William. I you have. Killed, you killed Mr. Davies. <laughs> Let go of that horse. Uh, you ain't even treating so it right. What's going on right now? And as a person of high morality, I have no way of idea of dealing with this. But to shoot everybody. Now what? we can either part in good ways or we part in hard ways. No, don't shoot. Mr. Jameson, there's another way here. Listen, no one's dead yet. You can just give give Angel back the horse and and, and and move on with your life. No no need to have any bloodshed. I might like this horse. I want to keep it. Okay, no, well, he wants to keep it. No, he's mine. Come on, Eddie. Come on. Yes, the right here. You let go of this horse. Freddie, <laughs> <laughs> let her have the horse. We have the other horses. William, what are oh, you? Fine. Take your horse. Nettie, come on. William, coming. Well, she has a horse now. Why don't you walk away? Mr. Jameson? 
I think you just made a, a good decision right there. I think you should think about that. And, and reflect on it and maybe and maybe consider making more decisions like that. No, get the fuck out of here. You trying to preach that? That's what it looks like, doesn't it? Yeah. It's the second time I'll let this happen. Freddie, what do you think about it? I think we should shoot him. All right. Should we test it? anything to say to that? Listen, I I don't think I have any control over this situation, so go ahead and shoot me. So interesting. I don't really want to shoot somebody that doesn't care about dying. <laughs> that is a true point. All right. You know what? I'll shoot him in the leg. Oh! That makes me feel better. Now get the fuck out of here. Right. Oh. As if I need help. Ready? You earned yourself a righteous spot in my, my, in my book. William, I'm appearing in your dreams. That leg oh. ain't gonna last long. Listen, I'm I'm feverish. My leg's infected. I don't think I have much longer on this earth. I hear that pain in your voice. Uh, well, this is a dream, but. I hear you dreaming of pain in your dream. I still but... feel it. Yeah, but you've done good. My friend, you've done good. Well, listen, I, I, I feel like it's, it's, uh, it's only one step. A journey of a thousand miles starts with one step, and I just took that one step. But Mr. Jameson is still a, still a rotten old person. Some people are beyond saving, but at least you tried, aren't, didn't you? I hope, I hope I get points for that. Cause I don't think I'm gonna last much longer here. I think you, uh, you earned yourself a beer. Well, well, thank you. I'll, I'll take a, a, hallucin a, a hallucination of a beer over no beer. This ought to kick you into a new reality, my friend. See you on the other side. Bartender God. Bartender slash God. What would it be? Um, hi boss. I'm here to report for duty, your angel. And um I'm not sure what to do about this William fella. He's a strange character. He just didn't care about dying the second time and he just took that bullet and I don't know if he's trying to be a martyr and I don't know if we should let him in or not or what. I'm just all confused. I'm thinking too much. Boss. You to clear your head. Another round of whiskey, my friend. <laughs> God? Yeah. Tell me what to do. I'll tell you, people are always asking me that question. And uh, I always tell them the answer is inside. You know, once, once upon a time, I think a dying man asked you that question. What'd you tell him? Go oh, figure that, it out? That was a long time ago, God. Yeah. An eternity, as it is, we've been knowing each other. In a perfect world, what would happen to the Williams and the, and the Jamesons of the world? What could happen to them? I don't know. I'm just befuddled about it, God. What I love is that you never stop trying. And that's what it's all about. God, when are you gonna give me a straight answer? I think I'm gonna give it to you when you never stop trying. I'm not gonna give it to you because you're never gonna stop trying. That's what it's all about. Is that an answer enough? I've been drinking a lot myself, I'll be honest. <laughs> Oh, God, not again. It's moonshine. Whew. All right, I'll just flip a coin then. 
Thanks. Snip it. What's Thanks. that say? Thanks for nothing. Oh, wait. It's the tails. You know what that means? I, I think we're going to keep trying. Ready? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Mr. Jameson. You ever been into God? Been into God? <laughs> Not what it is. You're either in or you're out. Well, are you into God? No, I don't even believe it, but all this God stuff keeps coming up. I'm curious, uh, where you stand? Well, I, I stand wherever you stand, Mr. Jameson. Mm -hmm. I'm your second. Mm -hmm. But before meeting you, I did rightly believe in God. I believed if you did the right thing, you'd go to heaven. But, well... Well, define the right thing. Because you ain't doing what's right according to the Bible. Well, then, my brother killed my daddy. And I rightly lost track of what was right in this world. Mm-hmm. Well, so, right. Do you, so you don't believe is what I'm hearing. Or you just lost. You can't make your mind up of where you want to go in life. I want to go where the gold is. I ain't thinking about the thereafter anymore. Mm -hmm. Maybe my dad is in heaven. Maybe he's in hell. Maybe he's just 10 feet under, but he ain't coming back. And there's nothing I can do about it. There's nothing my brother can do about it. So we all just go on living. Sounds like you're mad. You'd be mad too. You mad at God? Can't be mad at something that don't exist. Mm -hmm. But if he did exist, I do question why he would put this life before me, where I'm second to some stranger stealing horses. My dad is dead and I killed my own brother. You'd be mad too. I'm always mad. I ain't mad at God. I'm mad at everybody else. Why you ain't mad at God then? I don't believe in God and nobody, and I mean nobody, can save me in their minds. Do you understand? But I ain't worried about you, Freddie. With all that anger at God, tells me that you're a believer. And believers can always be saved, isn't that right? You trying to say that you don't even want to be saved? What's the point of saving if you don't even believe? Don't have to believe in the sun rising and it'll still rise in the morning. Yeah, don't have to believe that the clouds will rain down on you, but rain will still hit your head. That's something we can feel, see, touch. There's proof in it. What proof is there in God? Well, you think I will die a non-believer before I believe. Do you understand me? All I care about is getting my own in this world. That's what I'm doing. William. William. I'm back. You see the horse thieves? They're just standing there philosophizing with their backs from against the horses. <laughs> I, there's a chance. I know you can barely walk, but... But you got long legs. Let's go and save the horses and put, give them back to their owners. Let's go while they're talking. Come on. Uh, I know you can bail uh, out, though. Listen, I, I had I had the strangest dream. Yeah. Uh, uh, this leg hurts so much. Ah. Uh, listen, and I don't know how much how much longer I can make it. This could be your last good deed, William. Listen, I I've tried my best. I've, I. I made Mr. Jameson think twice, and now they're philosophizing about about the existence of a god, and I think I got pretty damn close to, to redeeming myself. Yeah, but I can't do this alone. And look, we're here. Freddie, do you hear that? Freddie? 
quick, quick. Get those people. Quick, quick. Get yeah. horses. Do you see that? free horses. Oh, shit. You, you, you oh, come back here. You thought ah. you were a steal from us. <laughs> Listen, I'm a... My leg's infected, and I'm a, I'm in a lot of pain right now. Yeah, well, I'm, you're you're a lot closer than you thought. If you thought we couldn't hear you, when you clearly can hear us, oh, you're pretty damn close. Not too sneaky with that leg of yours, are you? No, I'm not. But we did it. We freed the horses you stole. We so freed there. the horses. So there. All right. Well, you're gonna go back and get him for us, aren't you? Cause you all don't like to kill people, do you? That's what we do. We kill people. You don't care about killing nobody. So, I'm sure you don't even have a gun on you, do you? Now I lost my gun. I just got a flower. Going into a duel with a flower? You gonna kill innocent folks? And one of them came? Our horses. This is a dog-eat-dog -dog world out here. We ain't gonna get those horses. We already freed them. Anyway, they're far off now. Listen, Mr. Jamison, you've already killed me and you've shot me in the leg. Oh, you're I, right. I don't think there's anything worse you could do to me at this point. You're right. You're right. I can't. Freddy? You want me to do it, boss? Well, remember that brother you're talking about? Here's a new one. <laughs> oh. That was the least satisfying death I've ever seen. <laughs> Ready? I agree, but you shot both of them with one shot. That's pretty damn impressive. <laughs> Why, thank you, Dr. Mr. Jameson. Angel, William, pull up a chair at the bar. <laughs> Want to thank you for all your hard work. That was incredibly brave. It was a double for you. <laughs> thank you, sir. I after doing my good deeds, I tried my best to get back here as quickly as possible. You figured it out, my friends. You died a brave death. Wait, so death. William, you just keep trying to die so you can get back here to the bar at the end of the universe? Uh, that's right. I, uh, <laughs> I was deprived of my opportunity the first time and sent back to Earth, so... Uh, so I did my time and I came back. Finally earned a seat at the table, my friends. Welcome home. And welcome home. I was undercover. Oh, oh, I knew that there was something about Angel who looked at, who reminded me of someone I'd met in the past. <laughs> That's our show! Yeah. <laughs> our first live western. Live western. Very, uh, we, got, we took religious to another, another level. Yeah. <laughs> we took westerns into the heavens. Uh, that was our show, everybody that uh, tuned in. Thank you for watching. This is uh, Best Friends for Now. Uh, we are now tuning out. Should catch us later. Bye. 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 <laughs>